Hey geek viewers and nerd tubers out there, Mr. Dark Phoenix is here back with Batman and Spider-Man to bring you guys another episode of Gotham. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, please hit that subscribe button because I post Gotham content every single week and I would love to have you a part of the little Geekiverse family that we have. And plus, Gotham's amazing, so why wouldn't you want to hear my perspective on it? But this week, and plus if you haven't seen my channel recently, this is going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen the episode, come back when you have, but if you have seen it and want to hear me talk about stuff, let's just go ahead and jump right into the newest episode of Gotham, Harvey Dent, aka more foreshadowing, because I love when they do this, but let's just jump right into the episode. See, Barbara, I'm mad at Barbara. I'm mad at Barbara from the beginning of the end. Let's talk about the beginning first. I thought you was ride or die. You was like, oh, I'll come back because I love you and can nobody separate our love. Now you leaving? Like, what was the point of all that? Like, I thought you was down with the Gordon before the beard. Like, now if he gets the epic beard, you can't even come back. Like, what happened? But, I don't know, Barbara. I thought you was ride or die. Now you just, like, you just left. Like, I right, deuces. I can't stop thinking about Falcone and Zaz. They didn't even do anything to you. What did Zaz do to you? That girl made you muffins. You could have taken a muffin for your pain. I don't know, I'm fat. I would have. But then again, that's something different. Bruce and Selena Kyle living together. That's the original Bat Odd couple. Right there. I kind of like the, the, uh, I kind of like this twist, actually, because for me, Gotham was always that show where it was like they had to bridge the connections and make it understandable as to why Batman feels certain ways towards people. Having him live with her as a kid is one of those things that's like, yo, you can't cut that apart. Like, you can't, you can't quit that. So, I kind of like that. You know, she's going to be coming in and out, obviously, because you, 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 you can't keep a cat in one place. But, it's a really nice little thing for Bruce. Plus, he's a boy, she's a girl. You know, he's going to experience that, you know, boner phase pretty soon. So, why not have Catwoman help you into that? Like, she helped us 80s, 90s boys with the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman. So, more power to the people. Harvey Dent. Um... He's a schizo. He's the schizophrenic white knight that Gotham needs. But he is clearly schizophrenic. And I love how they did to him what they did with Aaron Eckhart in The Dark Knight. And they just had, like, shots of his face like this. Or, like, you know, have, like have his face was covered in black. Like, it was, like, dark on one side and light on the other. And I just, I just want someone to break out and call him Harvey Two-Face. But this was his first episode... So we can't go far into that yet. They can't call him Harvey Two-Face yet. But I'm just waiting for that <laughs> reference. <laughs> for someone to be like, you know, you're so damn Two-Face. Like, how dare you? Like, oh my god, that would be so great. Penguin has your number, Liza. And now he knows you're working for Fish. Which, honestly, I'm glad he was the one to figure it out. Because now this is going to be part of his own grand scheme like, Fish has her grand scheme, Falcone's got his, and Penguin has his. Penguin needs to get rid of them. So he needs to know everything, and that's what I love about how they're portraying the Penguin. He's an information man. He's a broker of information. He knows things, and he needs to know things in order to get his plan off the way. The only thing I don't know is that how, what Penguin's grand thing is going to do. Like, maybe the mid-season finale, the season finale... They'll, like, you know, Penguin's plan will probably be realized. It'll all come together. But I'm just wondering, what else does, does he have planned? Because you have a lot of factions in the Mafia family to deal with. But we'll find that out later. Riddler gets more screen time. And damn it, it's amazing. I, I hope that next season they do to him what they did for Penguin. Like, an, an amazing actor giving screen time to a great character and letting that character come to life in a way we haven't seen before. Like, cause all we've really seen of Riddler was like Riddler in like the cartoons and you know, like like the Riddler in the Batman series, like the animated series, is the Batman where he was like Marilyn Manson like and basically the only live action one we've had was uh, Jim Carrey and it's like breathe more life into the Riddler. Be that person we know you can be and you and that we love. Like, you know, Fish gets the grease and the gears of her grand scheme are going. Chugga chugga chugga. But yeah, it's 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 really I really like Fish. I like Fish's character. I mean, it's a shame she'll probably die. I keep saying that, but 
it's a shame she will die soon. Well, not soon, but, like, season finale soon. Like, or she'll get tortured, I don't know, but I appreciate what she's doing. I'm like, I'm, I'm all for, like, nerdy girl power, like, yeah, queen of Gotham's crime and shit. Like, take over that, but I'm pretty sure she probably, I hope she does, in, like, a twist, but... I was hoping Fish takes over somehow, but then gets stripped away by Penguin. So, we'll just have to see about that. For once, Bruce can be a kid. I loved this scene. This scene actually needed to happen. He was laughing, just doing stupid shit. Being a kid and laughing since his parents were dead. That's the first time in a while that he's been giggling, laughing, doing all this. And Alfred saw it too, so he was like, you know, maybe she's needed after all. Maybe she's like, uh, ying to your yang. And... Eventually, she'll be a lot more than that, but for now, she'll just be that link that'll help you be a kid. And I'm all for that. And, yeah, Barbara's back to girls again. I can, yo, really? I mean, at Comic-Con, she already said that their relationship was going to be rehashed anyway, so I was, like, surprised at first, but then I was like, wait a minute. I met her, and she told us that, so <laughs> I wasn't surprised anymore. I was like, ah, oh, man, you were telling the truth. Like, damn it. I can't believe it, but she likes girls again, and Barbara's down with the question. Yeah, Renee Montoya is the question in the comic book, so yeah, that's a question for you guys. What the hell made Barbara go back to girls again? But thank you guys so much for watching the episode, uh, this episode of Gotham. Thank you for watching me review it. I really appreciate all of you. If you haven't, please hit that subscribe button because I post weekly content and would love to have you guys a part of our little nerdy family here. Don't forget to check out my social media links at the end of the video as well as annotations to other videos like last week's Gotham and all that good stuff and my co I'm, and my New York Comic Con coverage where I interviewed the people from Gotham themselves. I got to interview Penguin, Harvey Dent, no, I know Harvey Dent. Ooh, that would have been great. I got to interview Penguin, Gordon, Bullock, and Barbara Keaton. So, if you guys like that kind of content, I would really like, love for to have you subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below. Check out the other videos in the description along with my social media links as well. And always remember that through good times and bad times, remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.